Hey guys, in this video tutorial series I'm going to show you how to create an automatic updater for all your .NET applications. This is perfect if you want to ship a real application and give it the ability to automatically update without the user having to manually re-download the updated application. In this video I'm going to show you an overview of the source code and I'm going to show you the updater in action. In the following videos I'll be showing you how to write the code from the ground up and as I go I'll be providing detailed explanations as I usually do. Let's look at this code really quick. So right here, this is actually the main form. It's just a really simple form just for testing out the code. The I Sharp Updatable interface is what any program that you want to update has to implement. So if it's a Windows form application, you'll have to implement all these properties. They're just properties, uh, basic ones like the application name, the application ID, a reference to the assembly, your assembly of your program. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this version. Yeah, that won't be there in the next tutorials the icon and this is the update XML location so this is where on a server the update XML will be that provides all the information about your update the next class we have here is the main class it's called sharp update this is the class that does most of the work it provides the update support and the actual updating and checking for updates happens on a background thread so there's no pausing or freezing of Windows Forms applications when it's searching for an update or anything like that the latest update class encapsulates the data from the update XML that's on your server. I wrote the hasher class a while ago and it just quickly computes the hash of either files or strings and then turns them into a string. And the code behind the form, the only thing you need to do is create a new sharp updater object, pass it this because it implements the iSharp updatable interface, and then it has to implement the interface obviously so it has all the properties right here. And the one method you have to call is do update and that will check for updates and prompt the user if they want to update if there's an update available. So let me show you this in action. I have my Windows Form application right here. I'm going to double click it. That is the test app. Here, let me close this. You can also have the code run as the form loads or anything, but I chose to do a button so I could show you. And hit check for updates. It will check my server. I have an update.xml on my server. Oh, an update is available. Would you like to update? It shows the current version, the update version. You can click on details and it gives you a little more detailed information. If you say no, well, it won't update. But if you do, you say yes, it will download the update. Then it will delete this old application and replace it with the new one and then launch it. And then it launches the application, version 2.0. That's it for this video. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.